Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons. How you guys doing? Shout out to all my fans, all two of you. Appreciate you watching my videos. <laughs> uh, it's the end of the day, so I'm rocking my white t-shirt and my ball cap. Hope you guys don't mind. I'm actually making this video for my graphic design ninja, Alyssa. Alyssa, you know who you are. So Alyssa did some kind of preliminary layout work for me on a new digital publication that we're getting ready to launch called Surveying the Law. It's all about real estate law and land law, land title, boundary surveying, all that kind of good stuff, land use planning here in California. And uh, so Alyssa did some initial layout, but I needed her to do some cleanup. So instead of doing the cleanup for her, I wanted to do a video to show her the kind of the initial, I'm just gonna do a page or two of the cleanup here on the layout. We're using Inkscape. One of my favorite programs, software programs of all times. Uh, Inkscape is awesome. I keep telling myself I'm, I'm going to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator, but I've just been using Inkscape for so long, it's really hard to make the switch. So here we are. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open up uh, the let's open up these couple of sheets that she laid out, and uh, we'll we'll make our changes. So I think I put it in my downloads folder. Uh, yep. Okay, so it's review of Inzana. That's the, the name of the case. The case is Inzana versus TID. So we're just going to open the first page here. And uh, so this is okay on the first page. Um, we're going to change this. And we're going to say written by Landon Blake. And then we're going to put edited by Alyssa Vera. Okay, so I need her to switch those two things. Then down here, because I've been slack and this is actually going to be our September issue, so I want to have her fix that. Those are just little things, though. Um, so this sheet looks okay, and uh, I'm good. we got to add the article summary. So I'm just going to make a note for myself. So uh, I'm okay with this first sheet, basically as it is. Uh, so they're just a couple minor changes, but you'll see when we get into this other sheet some of the some of the things I need to have her change that are on every sheet. So let's go ahead and open uh, our second sheet. Okay, so the first thing I notice is this text is a little bit off, so I'm going to snap that back to my grid here. Turn my grid on. And it looks like this font might be bold. It looks darker than the font I just had. And it says that it's light. Dosis light, but it sure doesn't look that way, does it? So that might not be her fault. Let's make sure this is size 10, though, Alyssa. And, yeah, something's up with my text here. See, my text isn't lining up on my baseline grid. So let's go open that other sheet, see if that first sheet worked. So in Inkscape you can have more than one open at once. So see this, this doesn't line up either. So uh, let's fix this so it's on the baseline grid. First of all, let's see what height it is. So it's light, we need it to be size 10. So it's dosis light. Oh, no, I went with titillium, I guess. So it's uh, titillium. And uh, we're going to go with light. Okay, and then, but you can see that the, it's not lining up on our baseline grid. So to fix that, you select your text, you make the text tool active, and then it, it's up here on this line spacing. It looks like it's too too big at 20.75 pixels. So let's try, let's try 20.5. And then every time you reset that, you gotta you gotta resnap this text so so it's still too big. Uh, let's try twenty. It's twenty even. And it looks like it's still a little too big. You can see as we move down, it's it's going past the line. So let's try nineteen. So you just you just trial and error this till you get it to line up the way you want. Now we're short. We're coming up short, so we're somewhere between 19 and 20. Let's split the difference. Okay, 
that's getting pretty close. It's still just, it's a little too big. So let's try 19.25. That looks like, eh, still just a little too big. We're going to try 19.2. I think that'll be it. So when you when you get close to getting it dialed in, what you got to do is you got to come down to the bottom because that's where the difference is the biggest. And, man, that's right on the money. So what we want, Alyssa, on our body font is we want Titanium Web Light. We want our font size to be 10. And we want our spacing to be... We want our spacing to be 19.2 pixels, and then it'll line up with the baseline grid. So you got to go in and fix that for me on every sheet. Now, after the first page of the article, what I want you to do is just delete this stuff on the right-hand column because I'm going to add that as needed. Okay, so I don't need it past the, the, the first page of the article. Okay, and then the other thing we got to watch is we got to watch our line breaks. Okay, so this looks like a little bit too much white space, but that might be okay if the next line is a heading. Um, so that was the other big thing, is just the, the, the line breaks and the white space. So uh, let's go open. That was sheet one. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to save sheet one. Let's go take a peek at sheet two again. All right, so this is not the right font. Uh, it's Titanium Web, size 10, light, apply, right. And then we want to come in here and fix our text spacing. So we know now is 19.2. Okay, so once you get the font correct, uh, That'll be uh, that'll be true for uh, that spacing applies for all of that font at that height. Okay. And then the other thing I worry about here is that I'm not quite sure on our text box. Let's see where we got that lined up on sheet one. Okay. So I've got a, a two cell gap here. Oop. And then we want to make sure that we're pulling this over consistently. So we're going to pull it over. We're going to do a two cell gap on each side. Okay, so that went way too high. Sorry about that. Okay, so we want our, our cell to go from two to two. I'm having a hard time with that now. Sometimes when Inkscape does that kind of buggy stuff, you got to zoom out a little bit. All right, so now that's in the right spot, okay? So then, uh, what's going on here? Oh, somehow I scaled my text, I think. Oh, man. So 10. Let's check that text height again. 15.2. Alright, so sometimes Inkscape just gets a little buggy. I'm trying to grab that snap where I want it right there. It's having a hard time. There we go. Okay, so if we go back to sheet two. Okay, so this needs to start over here. Because I got I got two cells there, and then see this is actually coming over. I want it to the text box is too wide. We want it to consistently be two cells to two cells. So I'm going to make this active. Pulled up here. Man, Inkscape's just having a hard time today. It's because I've got this um, screenshot recording software going at the same time. All right, sorry guys, I had to pause the screenshot software to get that to work. Okay, so now our text is in the right spot. Okay, but it looks to me like we're missing a heading, so we should have a timeline heading here. Okay, and uh, so what we want to know is could this text fit on that first sheet? So let's let's go see how that would look. So let's open up sheet one. So, so sometimes when you're doing this, you got to have more than sheet open at once. So we've got our timeline as our next heading, so let's just copy that down and see if it'll fit. Okay, so we're going to say text and font, timeline. Okay, and then we got to look at our next piece of text. 
Okay, so we can probably fit this here as a summary of the events in the dispute. And what I would do is I just copy this because that just makes it too easy. And uh, we'll paste it in here. Drag it down. Okay, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just double click on this text. And I'm going to say easement on the end of the word on can be our last bit of text on this page so I'm going to delete that text now okay so now we don't have extra white space here we want this one blank row okay but that means we got to adjust and I've got the heading in with the, with one blank line in between so that's how I want the line spacing Alyssa now this sheets basically done so we're gonna save it okay now because we adjusted this break here this break in the text we got to come over here and adjust this one so we already have some of this text right so we have down here to on so we're gonna delete it out of this column Okay, and then we're going to move this up because now we don't have a heading here. Okay, and then probably not going to get our next row in here because we don't have enough room, right? Um, and we'd have to open sheet three, but um, I, it's a bad idea generally to just have one line of text on the next paragraph. That's what you call an orphan. Oh, actually, this text box isn't... I've got more text here than I've got box, so let's fix that. So we're going to pull this down. Okay, so we won't have we won't have room for this on the other side. Okay, let's make sure we're snapped to the right spot. Okay, so this looks good. You can see it's lining up with the baseline grid here. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay. This looks like it might be the wrong font. This is Dosis. Let's see, let's open sheet one and see what that font's supposed to be. Okay, that font is supposed to be Rambla, so let's fix that. So, Alyssa, go through and check your fonts. Make sure we're using consistent fonts on everything. This is supposed to be Rambla. Sometimes, oh, why is it not working here? Alright, there we go. This is supposed to be Rambla. Okay, and then I don't know what something happened here with our with our spacing too. It should be here. It should be here. It should be here. Okay, and then we gotta fix this text. So we're gonna say written by Landon Blake and edited by Alyssa Vera. And because I use a capital B here, I want to use a capital B here, right? That's just a consistency thing. So keep your eye out for the details there. Graphic design ninja in training. Alright, so now, because this is the second sheet, I'm going to delete this box. If I need it back, I'll put it back. Alyssa, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So let's look at one more sheet. Oh, we're going to make this September. Let's look at one more sheet. And again, I want to pay attention to where we're where we're breaking the text and making sure the text is the right font. It lays up lays on the baseline grid. So let's save this. Let's open sheet three. Okay, now I can delete this. I don't need it. You notice this is Dosis. That's the wrong font. So we're going to come over to we're going to open our text dialog. Right, very first thing we're going to do is fix this font. This should be Titanium Web. It should be 10. Right? The spacing should be 19.2 pixels. Okay, then we're going to go ahead, since there's not a heading here, we'll pull it up to here. Turn on our text snap. Okay, now the other problem is we're not talking about the timeline anymore, so we're, we're missing a heading. 
right? And Alyssa, if you go back in and look at the look at the actual Word doc I sent you with the text content, you'll see we're missing a heading here. So let's go ahead and open, let's copy our heading. So here's our heading. I'm just going to edit, copy, then come over to the page we're working on and say edit paste. Be careful, sometimes Inkscape will crash when you do that. Okay, there it is. We're going to drag it over to the right spot. Okay, and so this is the undisputed facts, is the name of this heading. Okay, so that's fixed. Let's fix this. Written by Landon Blake. Edited by, with a capital B, Alyssa Vera. Okay, again, this is the wrong font. So this needs to be Rambla. Okay, then we got to line this stuff up. On the right spot. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, now it looks to me like we got a little bit of a gap here that we might need to fill. Right? Plus, my text isn't lining up. What happened there? having a spacing issue so I gotta look at that. Huh. Alright, now I'm getting a different value so I'll have to look at that. short there. I don't know why. Alright, so I'm not sure why we're getting two, two different uh, spacing values there to work with our baseline grid. I need to look at that. Make sure this is lined up in the right spot. <clears throat> Alright, let's check our grid real quick and make sure that we don't have a funky grid on this. So I'm going to come up to Document Properties, pull up my grids. My grid looks good. So I don't know why this isn't a 19.2 text spacing. Oh, yeah, no, that's right, 19.2 pixels. Is too long. Hmm. So I'll have to look at that. Um, so, anyways, it looks like we got some white space here. So, what we need to do is see. You know, we gotta we gotta pay attention to this this bottom of the column here. So let's uh, let's go open, uh, I think that's page four, and see what text comes next. Okay, so we can probably fit some of this in. You know, we can we can at least fit this two, these two lines here. So again, what I'm going to do here, this time I'm just going to go in and copy the text out of here. Okay, and we'll, whoop. and we'll see what we can get to fit. So I'm going to just copy it a little bit more than I know will fit. And let's see what we can get to fit in here. So now I'm going to add this text to the bottom of this row. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these extra spaces here.
Okay, so I can't fit everything, but I can fit this next part. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. We'll start that on the next page. So we got to fit as much content as we can in here without only having a single line at the bottom. Right, with a break, that's what they call an orphan in graphic design. Okay, so the only thing left to fix now is we'll go ahead and fix this footer. Okay, so what do we need to clean up on all these sheets? Uh, we need to make sure the footer says September, not August. Uh, we need to make sure that this is the Rambla font, that these uh, title fonts here line up on the grid. We need to make sure that we're not missing any headings. We need to make sure that these two fonts are correct. This is Titanium Web uh, size 10, and it should have like a 19.2 uh, or an 18.92 uh, spacing to fit on the baseline grid. Um, so it should be one of those two numbers. I'm not sure why I'm getting a different result on those two sheets. I'll have to look at that. Okay, but those, those are, so we need to go through, and then we need to watch this line break here, right? We need to make sure we're not leaving too much of a gap here or a or an orphan at the bottom of this left-hand column. Okay, so Alyssa, I'm going to have you work on those things, and, and then we'll take another look at these sheets. Thanks.